This is the story of Robert Smalls. Have you ever wondered what life in the Civil War was like? But now you don't have to, because I'm going to tell you about a man named Robert Smalls who was in the Civil War. He had to make many sacrifices during the way and has changed our lives greatly. Robert Smalls was born on April 1839 in Beaufort, South Carolina, by his mom and dad, each born slaves. About 30 years later, he was elected as a member of the House of Representatives. He worked hard during those years and was piled high with work as the Civil War began its blast. In 1861, the first cannon shot high for the Civil War, but it wasn't until 1862 that Robert Smalls saw the Robert first Smalls worked on the steamer planter for the Civil War. Even though it doesn't really sound like a big job, he had a lot of responsibilities. Once the Civil War ended, Robert Smalls didn't really do a lot. But it, on his death, he was highly remembered for his bravery and concern. This is the story of Robert Smalls.